So I had a comment the other day, and it was quite a specific request. It was, can you tell me how to automatically send blog posts to social media profiles? So like, once I post a blog post, forward that onto Facebook or Instagram or whatever. And I was like, okay, give me a week and I'll get to it. So this is me getting to it. I'm gonna show you how to set all your profiles up, where to do it, and how to change the syntax so that what it says when it posts automatically actually looks legible and, you know, decent. What we wanna do is go to our blog and we wanna make sure that we have a blog post ready. So, okay, I've got our blogs here. And then you can see I've just got some random ones. But once you've published a blog, you obviously can't enable auto post because what are you gonna auto post? It's already posted. So if we create a new one by clicking plus and then adding in our title here. So put the title in and then what we wanna do is click up here. Well, we can either click up here like so to go into the back end or if we click save and exit, we can click the three dots and then settings and then we get the same effect. Then we wanna go into share and then we wanna connect account. So we can also do email, but I'm not gonna go over that in, in this video. What we wanna do is go to connect account. And this is gonna take us to connected accounts. As you can see, I've already got my Instagram linked up here, but what we wanna do is click up here for a new connection. So we click connect, and then we've got tons of options that we can push our content to. So we've got Facebook, Google search accounts. Well, I'm not gonna read them all out, but I'm gonna go with Facebook for now you can just follow the same steps for each platform. So if we hit Facebook, then we'll just click continue and then you can select any pages that you want to uh, post to. So I'm just gonna select Sam Crawford Coaching, click next, and then you can go through your toggles here. Basically, we just wanna give Squarespace all the permissions, hit done, and then it's gonna link up. Nice and easy, it's gonna say you've now linked and then we click okay. And then what we have here is the formatting. So whenever Squarespace automatically posts something, it's gonna post it in a particular format. So the example in the description is just gonna be the URL. If we click here, we can see the syntax that we can add. So if we were to add percentage and then T, it's gonna add the title here. So it's gonna pop the title before the URL. Then you can see if we add author at the end, like this percentage, it's gonna add Sam Crawford, the author. Then you can actually add whatever you want in terms of text into here. So you could put like new post alert, check out my blog all about, and then title, the URL is, and then space between here, which was written by Sam Crawford. It's gonna give you the, the live example here. We wanna keep this toggled, and then we wanna select that we wanna to post to Sam Crawford Coaching. Then we hit save and it's gonna come up in here. Now you can do this for everyone. And all we need to do now is go back to our blog and then we wanna go into the back end again, settings, share, and then we wanna click into the, let's just go back, click into here, toggle, push to Facebook, and then you can see the message is here. Now, what I've just done in social account, in connected accounts is set a, a global style. So every single blog post now will follow this exact format. And obviously, the data that comes from the syntax will be updated based on what the blog is. Now, if you want it to be different, all you have to do is just change it in here. So if I just wanted it to be the URL, I'd go, okay, you, like that, and just have the URL on this specific post. Hit save, and then when that publishes, it will go live. Then if I had a new post, I would start doing this. So new post two, for instance, go into the back end, go into share, and then when I enable this, it comes up with the same format as the global style and I can change it here. And that is that. So if you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.